At first glance, he's not much to look at. Clearly strong, but with the physique more Anthony Soprano than Anthony Joshua, he could be mistaken for a lot of things, but burgeoning heavyweight prodigy isn't one of them. Seemingly, in no ways honed for elite performance, he looks like any other strapping bloke looking to try his luck at the fight game. But when UK prospect Nathan Gorman throws a left hook, eyes that had strayed elsewhere in the gym snap quickly back to the ring. Then, it's as clear as day, at the tender age of just 21, Nathan Gorman is cut from a unique cloth. If there ever was a case of a fighter being born into greatness, it's Gorman, whose fighting roots run deeper than you could ever imagine. His uncle was none other than the king of the gypsies, Bartley Gorman, making soft-spoken Nathan fighting royalty. That combative instinct has flowed seamlessly from the fighting fields where Bartley hammered his way to reverence to the professional prize ring, where none other than former undisputed junior welterweight champ Ricky Hatton is teaching young Nathan the ropes. It's been a smooth transition from raw ability to legit prospect for Gorman. That said, his teeth have been cut on the usual cannon fodder offered up to promising up-and-comers. But his 11-0, 9-KO record at this point is immaterial. The important work taking place now is in the gym with Hatton and not in arenas opposite a litany of paid stiffs. Gorman, it must be pointed out, is not a UK version of Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., promoted on name recognition alone, being fed fresh slabs of meat to make the resume match the promotional hype. Unlike Chavez, Gorman was a talented amateur who parlayed a handful of fights into a valuable spot on Britain's national team. As talented a prospect as Gorman is though, he's equally passionate about his roots and what he feels is not only his destiny, but his duty to follow in his uncle's footsteps. And with those ghosts lighting Gorman's way and Hatton teaching him the ropes, Nathan still has the hard part to do to keep nose to grindstone and convert his unteachable DNA into greatness and maybe begin his own legend, where one day it'll be his name spoken in hushed tones in the gyms and caravan parks of all fighting lands.